Hi, it's Rami, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. That's where we all take the same layout or sketch and use it as inspiration to create our own. And this is the one for today. I'm not sure who it's by, but it's got some bright, colorful things. Oh my goodness, I forgot that corner up there where they tore the paper. Well, mine don't have that, just so you all know. <laughs> and it's because I forgot. Well, my layout's not going to be as bright as theirs because I'm going to be scrapping that photo I showed and it's of my grandsons. Well, all you can see is the hand of one, but the face of the other one concentrating and up close to the eggs because the other one's explaining how to do it and he don't want to miss anything. Now, the inspiration layout does not have ink on the background like this. I'm going to put a few colors here. But I decided I wanted the extra colors. But I'm going to end up putting so much on here. You're not going to see much of it anyway. I am putting. Um, I believe on the. Because I took two yellow inks out. Because one of them. Prints better than the other. You know the distressed one does not. But I've got the lemon. And the memento dandelion in those two colors and then i've got that one there and it is oh my goodness what is that <laughs> it is close to my heart oh it's orange it is orange it didn't look orange on here but it is orange and when it dries it looks more orange than it does when i'm putting it down and man was it was it was juicy i mean I could I was surprised how juicy it was because I've had it so many years, but then I got to thinking, I don't use it that often. I put some ink on my uh, packaging there and then some water, and I put my cup in it and tried to make sure there was enough water that when I put it on there, it leaves a ring. I'm going to cover up my rings, too. I wasn't quite sure how much I was going to put on the layout, but then I put more, yeah. So I cover most of them up after I go to all that trouble putting them on there. And I wanted the, this one to look especially messy. You won't be able to see it though. But like I said, you must be able to see some. And I'm splattering while dripping. I'm dripping. I figure if they're coloring eggs, I need a little bit more of a mess. And yeah, I just want, if you look at the paper towels, it's got ink on it. And of course, by the time you get done, coloring eggs, the paper towels are completely covered with different colors of ink. So I was thinking of that, well, dye, not ink, dye. I was thinking of that when I was making the layout and deciding to put more on the background than they had to go with what I was going to be using on my layout. And I forgot about making sure I had some of this color, so I had to go ahead and ink it up again. And I'm just... I'm, Instead of me doing the packaging technique like open-handedly, I am putting a little bit at a time on there. And some of the droplets, if you end up looking at the layout, it'll, it's straight from the packaging. I don't smear it. I just There's just so many little tiny droplets on it that I just kind of lay them down as I go, and they go down as is. And I think I'm about done with all those colors. Nope. I, oh, I, I decided I needed a little more yellow. And I picked up the Memento, I believe, instead of the other one because it was handier. And, uh, yeah, I'm just putting a little more yellow on there. I wanted to ink it with the circles. Uh, those are stamp really old Stampin' Up! Uh, wood stamps and those are just called basic shapes and I am just kind of putting them here and there on there at first I thought about doing the packaging technique on them and I think I did a few but then I decided I was just go ahead and stamp them and put them on there that way and I'm using all the colors to do that and then I'm going to pull out a close to my heart stamp set I've had this one a long time <laughs> From back before I ever had a die cut machine that had thin dies, because I do have a couple of 
dies that are thin that are eggs. I have a punch that's an egg. But at the time, I had to stamp it, and that's all I had. So I would stamp them out, and then I'd fussy cut those out for my layouts. And I hadn't used them in a while. But I thought since I was doing the background on here, I'd pull them out and use them. A lot of them are really fancy. And I wasn't going for fancy on a mixed media layout. So I picked the ones that were less fancy. One has like a plaid. Another one has a wood grain, which I used green instead of brown. Because, you know, that was color I needed more. And one has uh, little speckles. I can't remember what all. I think I used five of them. And just put them around the page. And like I said, some ends up covered up. And some don't. But, yeah, they're just going in different colors around the page. And that is just the cutest stamp set because it has so much variety. Not that you have to stamp them all. I, I don't think I ever did stamp them all at one time and use them all. I would pick whatever I wanted for the layout. The one with more flowers, I might have put on one of the girls' layouts. But, yeah, I was just using them and stamping them and putting them on there. I don't think I use, yeah, I did use the orange. I did. That's the one I used for the speckles. And yeah, once I get done with them, I think it needs a little bit more. <laughs> and so I'm going to pull out another die. I mean stamp. I'm going to pull out one of my mixed media stamps, the one that's, uh, Art by Marlene number five, and I am going, it's the one with the little tiny bubbles. I thought that would look cute on there just because of what, you know, with the die cut, a die cutting, die coloring of the eggs that it looked like it belonged on the page. I'm showing I have three sets of stickers, and they're like from over the years, and I think they're all Echo Park. One might be Photo Play, but I think they're all Echo Park. And I use the Echo Park 6x6 paper pad, and I think that one's Love Easter. And I put two pieces behind my photo, and I'm putting this tag behind there, too. I wanted something else. I didn't want it exactly even all the way around, so they are different sizes. Yellow, I think, is the only one all the way around. And I used it from behind the photo to make the uh, reinforcer on my tag. And I am going to put orange uh, twine on there. And then I'll be done with my layering on here. I thought about putting it on foam tape and then changed my mind. Then later wished I had, but I had so much of stuff clustered around it. I didn't have no way idea how I was going to pull it all up. And so, yeah, if I jessled it, it would have been easier. But I didn't jessel this, so everything was sticking pretty good. And I said, well, my photo don't have to be on foam tape after all. But that photo is cute of Jake. And Casey was just a serious telling him how to do everything on the egg coloring techniques and stuff. And, I mean, they were just having a good old time. Usually, you know, I'd be showing Casey how. And, boy, I made the little cups, put the stuff in it, and he just took over. I mean, he wanted to show his little brother how. I decided I needed one of those things that you pick the eggs up with. Now, this may not exactly look like one, but I think a person could get the idea by looking at it. I use my Creative Memories hexagon punch, and I punch the smaller one first, then the larger, so I'd have a ring. And the bottom part, you know, a lot of times the ring down there is as big as the other part. But I decided to make it smaller, kind of like a bubble wand. And I used the letter, the capital letter O on that alphabet set that I showed and made it. And it is a little bit thicker, but I thought I'll compensate for that by making the stem or rod part or whatever it is of the egg, I don't know, egg scoop. <laughs> 
maybe egg scooper or something. I think we all just called it the chicken wire thing or the egg wire thing. Until I was doing this video, I, went, I had never even realized I didn't know what the proper name of it was. I fussy cut three carrots out of the cut apart sheet. I left three because I thought I might need them another time and three is a good number to put on here. And then of course I cut fussy cut a bunch of the eggs off of that paper and it's from the paper pad. And then there was quite a few eggs. There were stickers on the layout. So I'm, I'm on the layouts on the sticker sheets. So I'm going to use them on my layout. And I ended up using them all. I found like two more after I pulled all those and put them on there too. And I did speed up the video quite a bit here because it's, you know, pretty repetitive and just putting stickers on the layout. So while I am doing that, I want to mention that down there below, you will see links to the others that will be doing this today or may not be doing this today. Uh, but yeah, if they've got the time and stuff, they will be doing their mixed media layout today. And I want to mention that this is my 97th mixed media layout since I started in this group and I am considering quitting at 100. Just have a break. I might be back in no time, but I just want to have a break. So yeah, I'm going to quit this for a while at least. But you might see me at the end of the month for the hop. But back to the layout. Um, Oh, I decided to repeat the cardstock that I used on the egg thing <laughs> down there, egg wire thing, and I uh, just used them to punch outs because I did practice punching one out, and then I had this one, so I had two, and I'm cutting one and a half, one in half. The first one I just tucked under, and then I thought, well, I think I can make it go a little bit farther by cutting it in half. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And my Easter, my Easter, my title is Easter Eggs to Die For. And I tore that Easter when I went and took it off. So I had to kind of patch it back together when I put it on the layout. It was pretty thin and delicate. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back to you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And uh, I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Find some time to do some mixed media. And get a little messy on your layouts. Bye.